How to apply to Cal State East Bay in 5 easy steps Before starting the application, download the document checklist from the description. Here are some tips before starting the application. Watch out for deadlines. Have official or unofficial copies of both transcripts and tests ready to provide precise information. Inputting wrong information can delay the decision or result in even rejection. Double check while entering your information. Save your progress as you go. Do not rush. Take your time. Step 1. Creating your account. Go to the Cal State Apply website. calstate.edu slash apply. Here you select the semester you plan on applying for. You will see the terms which have current open application periods. In this case, we will be applying for fall. Click create an account or sign in if you already have one. Go ahead and fill out all the required information. You must enter your full name, contact information, email, and username. Please note, if you do not have a first name, please enter FNU, first name unknown. If you do not have a last name, enter LNU, last name unknown. Be sure to use a current email address and that you enter it accurately in Cal State Apply as this email address will be used to follow up with you on your application. Extended Profile Since we are applying for an undergrad program, select the first option. Then select which options pertain to you. For this video, we will select Graduating High School Senior. Answer the other questions based on your background. If you're an international student, be sure to select yes for F1 visa status if you plan to request a student visa. If you fail to do this, we will not know that you need an I-20. Come back to your questions on the extended profile anytime if you need to make corrections by clicking your name on the top right hand corner. Once you create the account and log in, this is the very first page you see. Here is where you select your campus and the program you are applying for. Here, a list will appear that includes all the programs which admit in the fall term. From the Filters tab, select Cal State East Bay and apply the filter. Now you see all the programs offered by Cal State East Bay for the term you have selected. Search for the program you are planning to study. Click on the plus button you see next to the program name. And click on Continue to my application. This is the main page of the application process. Here you will see four sections that you need to complete before you can apply. The sections include personal information, academic history, supporting information, and program materials. You can see numbers below each section. These indicate the subsections. You will also see the green progress bar. This shows the progress of the application as you begin to complete the sections. Personal information section. Please complete each of the following subsections in the personal information section to the best of your ability. Make sure the information is accurate and match with the government documents. Any wrong information or inconsistencies can delay the admissions decision. Once you complete all the subsections, the section will be highlighted in green. The next section is the academic history section. This is the most crucial part of your application, so be as accurate as possible when you fill this out. Here, you will need to enter all the dates of the schools you have attended. If you have attended a high school or secondary school outside of the United States, just enter the name, location, and dates of attendance. If you do not find your school listed, click on Can't Find Your School and enter the details manually. If you have high school or college credits from within the United States, you'll be asked to also enter all the courses you've completed on your CSU application, as well as those that are currently in progress, and any you plan to take. See the Cal State Apply International Application Guide at the link below for further guidance on this step. calstate.edu slash apply slash international. Check your work as you go. Make sure the information matches with the supporting documents you submit. Any wrong information or inconsistencies can delay the admissions decision. Standardized test scores. Please include your results from the TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, or IELTS, 
International English Language Testing System. If they are available or any planned test dates, please note. Freshman applicants do not need to upload their ACT and SAT scores. It will not be used for any admission purposes. If you have SAT or ACT scores, you are invited to submit them as they can be helpful in determining class placement in your first year. You will also have the opportunity to report any AP, CLEP, and or IB test results completed as well as any future test dates. Supporting Information the third section is the supporting information. If you have some outstanding achievements that are relevant, please go ahead and add them. Program details. As an undergraduate applicant to Cal State East Bay, you most likely will not need to enter anything in this section. If the section is shaded green on your application, you do not need to submit anything here. Step five. Once all sections are completed and highlighted green, you must pay the application fee in order to submit the application. The $70 application fee cannot be waived and is payable by credit card or PayPal within the online application. Once the online application is complete, applicants are responsible for monitoring the status of an application and submitting required documentation to the campus. CSUEB's International Admissions Office will correspond with you directly via email regarding submission of required documents for international admission. Your application cannot be evaluated until these documents are received. Be sure to check your email for important messages. The International Admissions Office is more than happy to respond to your queries. Good luck and we hope to see you as a future pioneer.